here we are. I'm drinking a mimosa, which is mostly orange juice because we didn't have that much champagne left, but whatever. <laughs> Fancy orange juice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you want the truth? Honey. You can't candle the truth! <laughs> Welcome back to Candle the Truth. I am Madison, here to help you on your candle journey, whatever that may be. If this is your first time to the show, um, welcome. Thank you for visiting me and watching me judge candles. Candles are such a luxury item that I feel like everyone deserves. Just one or two should do. I have more than that because I'm psychotic. As you can see, we are, we, I say we, it's just me. I am burning eucalyptus rain after giving it a two out of five flame rating last week. It just smells like grandpa's soap. Eh, um, I'm gonna give it a two. I'll give it a two out of five. I'm not gonna change my rating because I don't necessarily feel like it's a three when it's burning because it still smells just kind of like soap. But like I said in my review, I don't mind that smell, so I am burning it. I don't want you to think I don't like it, because I do like it. It's just not, you know, the best, I guess. I also meant to get a frame for my You Slay Beyonce picture, because I feel like I'm an adult. I'm, like, going to be 33 in a couple weeks. I don't know if I can get away with just having things up on the wall without... A frame so I'm gonna try to adult in that way next week today we are going to be reviewing just the craziest candles I've been so excited to share these candles with you all they're not Bath and Body Works candles they're completely off the beaten path I figured maybe this week we would take a little bit of a break because there are so many great candles out there that are not Bath and Body Works candles so I think we should get into it. Office themed candles. Different scents that smell like things from the office. I die. I can't believe that these exist. <laughs> Babe, can you hear me? I had I, I had to get more than one and I got three and I'm so happy about it. Nick found these while scrolling on Instagram and showed me and I just, my mind was blown. I hope they're good. So they're made by a company called Nostalgics. Nostalgics. I'll put the name in the description underneath so you can check them out on your own. But I mean, I'm kind of freaking out right now. These all legit look like Dunder Mifflin. Like I could see them being in Dunder Mifflin, <laughs> like on people's desks and stuff, like it totally fits in with the vibe. However, I'm really over mason jars in general, but mason jar candles, like, I don't know. I just feel like we can, we can step up a little bit. I'm just over the, even like the fact that Bath and Body Works single wicks come in jars. I don't know. I'm just kind of over it a little bit in that way. But the look of like the stickers and stuff that's totally on brand for Dunder Mifflin for the office but yeah I'm just kind of knocking points off right away because they're in jars is that weird I don't know I just feel like we've done the jar thing like let's move on I got the Michael Scott one I love all the characters but Michael Scott like Oh, actually, it says Dunder Mifflin Incorporated Candle Company, which is funny. Then the scent is Michael Scott, and it has descriptions of the candles underneath. Before I continue, I'm not going to like, I mean, of course, I'm gonna, we're going to get into it, but I'm going to move a little fast because if I don't, this review is going to be really long. So on the top, it says Cotton Wick, 100% soy, clean, 85-hour burn. Okay, yeah, so www.nostalgics.com. It says made in Scranton, PA. I don't know if that's true, if it, it actually is or not. The scent for Michael Scott is movie producer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Best salesman award winner, hockey player, 
lover of Ryan, hater of Toby, world's best boss. And underneath it, it says, that's what she said. I have a feeling this is just going to smell like Michael Scott. These fragrance notes are kind of confusing. What does a lover of Ryan, hater of Toby smell like? But it's going to smell like Michael Scott. In my brain, I don't know, I kind of feel like he's... What's that fragrance that they give him for his birthday. It's called, oh, Night Swept, that they get him for his birthday at the hockey rink. So I have a feeling it might be a little like Walgreens men's cologne, <laughs> but we'll see. Let's get into it. That smells like what I think Michael Scott would smell like. It kind of smells like paper, which is interesting. It smells like when you're printing something and it comes right out of the printer and it's like so warm. That like that odd smell, like that's what it smells like to me. It's very speed stick. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it might be really heavily perfumed and I like that it's not. That's sort of the hair gel that he has, speed stick deodorant, like a, a bro, but like a Michael Scott bro. It's really good, I really like it a lot little bit of cologne kind of a fresh paper smell there's like one set it's like a sandalwood maybe there's some kind of woodsy scent in here but it's not but it's very light I, yeah i really like this candle a lot i think it smells really good and it smells like michael scott or met michael scott not steve carell i think steve carell would smell differently than this if i met michael scott i'm almost positive that this is what he would smell like. For that flame reading for Michael Scott from Dunder Mifflin Candle Company from Nostalgics. I'd give it a, I'd give it a four. I'm giving it a four. I think that it's legit smells like Michael Scott. It smells like paper. And it just has a whole vibe about it. You have won a tiny Dundee. So Michael Scott, four out of five. It's a good, that's a good flame rating. So good on ya. Next one I got, I had to get. <laughs> Shroot Farms. Oh my gosh. Like I had to. Let's see what the scent notes are bed and breakfast 4.7 stars on TripAdvisor. <laughs> beet winemaking agritourism don goose walks manure distribution birthday goat packages guten tag shrew farms the only thing i'm not really liking about these fragrance notes is that they're pretty vague I'm expecting earthiness uh Maybe some sort of herbs or something. So let's see. Right off the bat, I'm kind of getting berry, <laughs> which is odd. Kind of a mixed berry, like a bl like blueberry almost which you could easily translate into like a farm vibe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. It's really one note. Just kind of get this weird berry smell and then it just smells like wax. There's no real, there's no real depth of or like journey of scent it's kind of just it smells like berries and then it doesn't smell like anything so unfortunately for street farms i'm gonna give it a one i'm gonna give it a one out of five i am i mean this yeah i wouldn't get michael scott before you get that one that's a bummer but let's move on i had to I had to get Serenity by Jan. <laughs> I had to get it. How do I not? I have to, right? This one, I'm so excited. Like this is amazing that I have a Serenity by Jan candle. 
Fragrance Notes for Serenity by Jan. A Cylinder of Scented Wax. Okay. Attitude. Boldness. Encouragement. Encouragement. Okay. Confidence. James Bonfire. <laughs> oh my god, this quote's amazing. When you get frustrated, irritated, or angry, just light this candle and poof, it goes away. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Okay. That's like my favorite episode of The Office. The dinner party episode when we see that she makes candles and then, oh my gosh, that episode is classic. Oh my god, I'm so excited for Serenity by Jan. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to smell bold and spicy and James Bonfire, so it might be smoky. <gasps> It smells like a smoky version of that. These smell incredibly similar, which is like, they should be totally different. Sorry, I'm having a moment because I can't decide how I feel. There's a little bit of musk in there. I can smell it at the end. It's like a little bit of smoky and then bear the berry smell of Shrew Farms and then a musk. I have to give Serenity by Janet a one. No, these two are whatever. I'm not super stoked on either of these. They just kind of don't do anything for me. This one's worth it. They're cool to kind of sit on your desk or on your shelf and be like, oh, it's not funny. I believe these were like $25. So be careful <laughs> with these two. Oh well. I think the downfall for all of these is that their fragrance notes are kind of jokey, which is great. I love that. But you have to make a good candle at the end of the day. It's the fragrance notes. I go back to that where it's just a bunch of different descriptors so you're not really sure what to hang on to. I would concentrate on three fragrance notes for each one and go with that. Thank you so much for watching Candle the Truth. I'm so glad for everyone who's shared my stuff on Instagram and made comments on my videos and subscribed. I'm working on merch, which is super exciting. I'll see you next week, bitches.